Good morning, I'm procrastinating writer, otherwise known as James Edwards, so let's begin this video, shall we? And today it's all about how to write the most perfect story with my ego guarantee. So here's four tips on how to write the perfect story, starting with number one. Torture is a very interesting interrogation method, however it is the best one for your characters. You're going to want to plunge your characters into their own personal hell, and the way to do that is to write down everything they love, their dreams, their goals, their motivation, their relationships with all these characters and all the people around them, their relationship with their world. Write everything that they want, everything that they love, and then you write every way in which you can destroy it. Because a story where nothing goes wrong is fucking boring as shit! But you take everything away and that's how you get to a story, that's how you get to a plot. If you are struggling to figure out a plot and a story, it's because your character is not going through enough hell. If you don't give your character a reason to pull the trigger against their own head, you're not doing it right. Second point is pay off every dramatic choice. Scenes are pretty much here's a dramatic choice that affects a plot and character arc, and it moves the story along, it brings about some other dilemma, and then you have consequences of those actions. You need your character to suffer or to deal with the consequences of their choices, because the man who chooses an action is a man who chooses this consequence, and we all know that in life. And then you need to pay off every dramatic choice because it's unsatisfying if you don't. If your character has never killed someone and then just stabs the bloke in the throat, just and then you don't, the next scene doesn't, he's just eating calmly breakfast and nothing happens and it's not brought up, it, then it's unsatisfying. It's like a hand job without a blow job, you know. It's, it's not like it's going to wriggle away and, and it's difficult to aim. No, you got it in your hand, you got it right there. Fucking put something with it, alright? Number three is continue the torture. <laughs> continue it. Your character needs to be three things all at once, or potentially all these three things, and have scenes where they are. Let me explain. A hero is someone who is triumphant, who succeeds, who pushes on and defeats and overcomes these obstacles with their strength ingenuity and tools and gains along the way. A tragic hero is relatively close to that but as someone who is losing along the way, who has to sacrifice, who has to compromise and might ultimately fail, fails at some things or causes a great horror because they're trying to do something good. Now a villain is someone who meets something horrible and then gives up and then is selfish and does something, well, selfish generally, <laughs> creates conflict, creates a bad situation because they're not trying to be a hero, they use the horrible things they've faced as justification to give up on life. And your hero needs to be all those three things, because your reader doesn't care. Your reader's going to be like, yeah, of course this hero is like going to be a hero. No, you need to show that failure exists in these characters, and the darkness exists in these characters, and they will act on it. In order for there to be tension, you need to reveal all the possibilities that are going to happen. That's when you wrote in a three-dimensional character. So remember that, and continue torturing. Finally, number four is all about the climax. If you've done your job correctly, your character has grown, and all the scenes and conflicts have grown, and it's now your job to tie up all the loose ends, all the character arcs, and give your story a satisfying climax. If you've done your story justice and wrote properly, you have discovered it is probably nigh on impossible to find a solution, and that's what you want everything to be impossibly difficult for your character to get out of but impossibly epic in scale. It needs to be the biggest thing your story is because it's the most unique part of your story. It is the part which is the tensest because there's an end. We know there's going to be an end. Instead of 50 pages there promising us subconsciously that there is more story to come, this is where your story ends and where we are at the most unknown. So you can't take the easy choices. If you wrote easily and shallowly, then your climax is going to be too easy and too shallow. You want your reader to be on the edge of the seat. So to do that, you need to be on the edge of your seat. And I know I kind of say torture a lot, and it might sound like I'm a bit for the whole destroying your character, but you need to destroy your character. This is the final test that will make and break their entire life. More so than anything else, it would be an un unequivocal change in everything. And they need to succeed to either get the status quo back to defeat the evil, or they will fail and the world would be horrible, the character's dark life would be even worse, everyone else around it would be all worse off, and the sense of scale and stake needs to get higher and higher and higher and higher, and so you need to really try and kill him. You get a machine gun and you just shoot him. Perfect stories are created by people who understand what it is to 
get a story out of character and out of a world, and to do that you need a character to be in their own personal hell. You need to understand everything your character can and will do, everything they will ask and question, what their limitations are, what their dreams are, and with that you have infinite amount of growth, an infinite amount of emotional and physical possibilities that can come from your story, and if you have infinite possibilities, your character is potentially going to do infinite amount of choices. It keeps your readers on edge. It's when you write shallow, two-dimensional characters in a cliché plot that your reader is going to predict everything. You want a sense of unpredictability and you do that by being honest. Funnily enough, if you try and lie and obfuscate and make your hero out to be someone who's not, and you really try and force that, and you don't look deeper into it, your reader is going to suss it out. And they're not perfect stories. They're little tiny little bits that people nibble on and go, oh, that's fine, and move on to another thing to nibble on. What you want to do is write the perfect story. And to do that, you honestly need to be evil. <laughs> Unless you're writing child fiction. If you're writing child fiction, you've watched a video that will not help you at all. You know, I see Greg the Bunny Rabbit. Just wants to meet the unicorn in the forest and along the way discovers that he will just grunt and stab and slice all the woodland creatures and when he finds the unicorn he rapes the unicorn and that's not really a story you want for children's thing um, no it's not so I've been procrastinating writer otherwise known as James Edwards if you like this video then do subscribe to me because my ego just needs it um, and of course comment and tell me everything you think down below and it sounds like a good day